Hi, today I, I'm speaking with Darren Hazelwood, the CEO of Panther Metals, which I believe is a critical minerals play. Uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are, uh, Darren. Ah, well, it's afternoon here, but I believe it's morning for you, Jack. How are you? Right. Good. Uh, listen, can can you can you tell us what sectors of critical minerals Panther is targeting? Yeah, we've got um. So our main focus is the the Abonga Greenstone Belt that sits about two and a half hours north of Thunder Bay in Ontario, Canada. Um, we hit. Uh, 27 meters, just over 2.25 percent graphite. Mm -hmm. um, we've spent the winter. Now that those that result was announced uh, towards the end of 23, we spent the winter reviewing the historic uh, reports from that area. We we've delineated a 21 square kilometer uh, exploration zone off of the back of that intercept. Now that intercept itself actually made the the top intercept list globally for graphite. Uh, we come in, we just sneaked in at the bottom um, in the first quarter of, of 2024. So that gives us some some significance to that. And um, we, we've delineated there at this stage of 21 square kilometres. The conductors in the area are very strong. We had had previous work done in 2021 by a, by a geologist called Shaw Walker who had identified that these conductors are either graphitic or they're sulfides. And from that information, we, we we drilled. We were drilling, in fairness, we were drilling an anomaly in that area. Um, we intersected this, this, this graphite. The historic reports that we've reviewed over winter, that they've talked about graphite as surface in the wider area. And in fact, one report talks about graphite being abundant in the wider area. So that that's our one that's one of two key focuses. We we our other is is copper and it's copper via VMSs. Um, we've we've put six hole drill holes into two separate areas on a bonga, and from just those six holes, we've already identified two separate VMSs. We know that VMSs cluster. They're the junior they're the junior uh, company makers. Uh, that's what they're nicknamed in the in the industry due to their they're high grade, low tonnage. Um, and actually, the famous geologist in Canada, Jim Franklin, he said that we are almost certainly the sister Greenstone Belt to the Sturgeons Lake Greenstone Belt, which sits 80 kilometers to the east. And that had five past producing VMS mines on it from the 60s into the 90s that all produced commercially. And they simply ran out of ore. Now, Bonga, we we own we own or control ninety percent of the Greenstone Belt. The the VMS is in one area of this. It's two hundred ninety one square kilometers, and the the graphite potential is is slightly to the north within the Bonga Greenstone Belt. So we're right in the heart of of just about everything we're doing is right in the heart of the critical mineral space. Uh, I, I like to uh, talk about necessary materials as well as critical materials. And quite frankly, what you're talking about are the necessary materials for manufacturing cars today, electric cars. And so uh, I think that you're onto something good. And uh, it's not esoteric or exotic at all. It's meat and potato, uh, graphite and copper. Uh, that, that, to me, that is a very good focus for you. Now, uh, you're an Australian company, uh, correct? We're, we're we're London listed. Okay. We're on the um the London list. We do own we do own um some circa twenty three percent of an Australian company, but that's that's all just part of our, okay. our portfolio. So yeah, that's where it can get confusing with us. But we're we're we're, we're London listed. And uh, what what are you doing in, in the Australian uh, space? May I ask? Well, the Australian company that we hold twenty three percent of, they um. But they've got a nickel laterite deposit that's come. They've actually recently released some some updated drilling. That deposit at, at Coglia is now over 100 million tons, grading circa 0.6% uh, nickel with with a cobalt credit. So again, that that business is right in the heart of the critical mineral space. But 
that would be at arm's length from us and our main focus in Canada. Graphite is really underappreciated in the in the automotive space because, in fact, you use many times the amount of graphite in a lithium-ion battery than you do of lithium. And, of course, today, China absolutely dominates that space. So the development of graphite resources in North America and Europe is critical. And, of course, they don't grow on trees. You have to go and find them if they're there. So good luck to you, because I think you're on the right track. You've got the right materials you're, you're looking at. And please come back and tell us about your progress if, after the fly, uh, black fly season is over. I certainly will, Jack. There might be a, might be a bit of cream being added to certain parts of my body um, in between <laughs> time. But you're absolutely right. China dominates. She's got 85% of the market. We know that there's a divergence between the East and West now. We have to create our own supply. And look, we want to move Panther right into the forefront of that. And there could be some interesting developments around that as, as we kick this on. We, 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 it's time for us to become more aggressive. And we're certainly looking at every opportunity. And uh, the graphite market, Canada produces somewhere between five five to 15,000 tonnes of graphite a year. America, nothing at the moment. So we're at the right point uh, of the market, the right point of the cycle. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to get very a, interesting. What you're saying is incredible because that amount of graphite is literally a pimple on the you-know-what of the market. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't doesn't affect Chinese dominance at all. So we have that has to grow. All right. Uh, thank you very much for the time and uh, whatever time it is where you are. and. Uh, We'll we'll talk again uh, as you've got an update up. Awesome. Appreciate it, Jack. Thank you.